What's up guys? Just want to make a quick video and show you the best rim cleaner in the world. You cannot buy it off the shelf. It's better than anything you could buy in any stores and the best thing is it's free. So, I'm not telling you what it is yet. I'm going to I'll tell you that at the end, but I want to want to show you how well it works first. Uh, the soap that you see in my pressure washer here, um, that's a little bit of car wash soap that's left over, so don't worry about that. It's not doing anything to your rims. You know better than anybody that car washing soap does not clean rims at all. So here's the stuff, and I'm not telling you what it is yet, so you're going to have to wait. But I'm going to fast forward through a lot of this, so I put the timer in the bottom corner just so you can see it basically kind of sort of real time how fast this stuff works. And for this, for this rim, I'm only brushing the tire just to get inside the, the little grooves of the labeling of the tire. Um, for this one, it's just going to be a spray on, rinse off deal. But again, you don't have to use a pressure washer, you can use regular garden hose. Spray all up in there, real good. All in the corners, get all up in there. Again, I'm just brushing the tire itself. I'm not gonna brush the rim on this side and I'll show you how good it works. The other side, I'm gonna show you in a few minutes. I'm going to be brushing the tire and the rim at the same time. It works a little bit faster that way, but if you don't want to get your fingers dirty, you know, with a with a dirty brush or getting in contact with dirty rims and stuff, you know, you can uh, you can do it the touchless way. And I'll show you how well it works. It doesn't get all the all the corners clean and you know some of the the grease and the heavy heavy brake dust deposits out of the corners, but. Overall, it does clean about 95% of your rim without touching it at all. All right, now we're fast forwarding. I uh, just want to blow through this real quick just so you're not sitting here for five minutes just watching not much happen. So enjoy it. Watch it drip down. Yeah, look at it. All right, now we're just gonna wash it off. So like I said before, doing it this way, there's a little bit of dirt that's still stuck in the corners of the spokes, but for a touchless wash, that's probably the best you're, get, you're ever going to get. Now we're going to go on to the, the second rim here. It's on the driver's side. So just like before, we're going to grab a garden hose or a pressure washer, whatever you have. This is a little electric thing, so it doesn't put out a whole lot of pressure. 
And you just want to knock some of the loose stuff off and get some of the dirt. Get that away from the brake dust so the, the cleaner can actually get in there. I only have a little bit of this rim cleaner left in the bottle. So usually you could just drown it and not care, but I'm trying to get decent coverage on it. You know, you can spray it as much as you want. This stuff lasts quite a long time. A little bit goes a long way, but a lot of it goes even further. And just grab your favorite cheap parts store rim brush. Doesn't matter what it's made out of. This is like this stiff bristle nylon thing I got from Advance Auto. And this rim, I'm going to be brushing the rim and the tire. I usually go to the tire first just to get most of the, the cleaning solution into the brush itself. So it spreads a little bit more on the rim where you want it to be cleaned even better. But it does get rid of the brake dust that is burnt onto the tire and just anything that's stuck to it. It will make it the nice black again. You could do all four rims in about 10 minutes. By the time you get all the way back around to the one that you started with, it's ready to be rinsed off. So now we're gonna now we're gonna wait, but just for the purpose of this video, I'm doing one at a time. But within about 10 minutes, you can have the entire the entire car done. Uh, right here, I'm just spraying off the brush. Uh, just getting a solution off the brush that I just used. So now I'm fast forwarding again just so you don't have to watch a few minutes of it just drip. Um, but you can see how brushing it actually gets the rim a lot cleaner faster and you get all everything in the corners. When you're washing it, always wash from the top down, but you should know that by now if you wash your car more than once in your life. Look how beautiful that looks. Brand new. like to see that gel rim cleaner stuff you get off the shelf work as good as this stuff 
you got to scrub that stuff for about 45 minutes and you're basically sanding all the paint off your rim. So now I bet you're wondering what this stuff really is. You saw that container I was spraying it out of. You can buy those at Lowe's. You can buy those anywhere. It's just a, it's just a regular squirt bottle. It has graduated increments on it so you can dilute it properly with water. So the reason why I didn't tell you what it was before I started the video is because you'd probably laugh at me and go look at some, some other video. But now you can see the difference side by side, beginning to end, took less than 10 minutes to do one rim, and while the rim's sitting around, you can go put the solution on the other ones. So what it really is, it's actually goat urine watered down to about 10 to 1 ratio, uh, one, one part urine, nine parts water, and then I mix in one tablespoon per 10 parts I use one tablespoon of regular table salt. It doesn't hurt your rim, it doesn't hurt the paint, it cleans it perfectly, but it's free. It's completely free. You go to any any local farmer you can find, tell them you want goat urine, they're going to laugh at you until you come back for the second round when you, when you want to refill it, and he sees how clean your rims are. I know it sounds stupid, but you just saw it work right in front of your eyes. Now, when you go to a farmer, you have to ask them for the urine from a goat that is being fed milk. And that, the, the proteins in the milk, I guess, make the urine a little more acidic than they do if they're fed anything else. So, get it from the goats that are milk fed, water it down, 10 to 1 ratio, a little bit of table salt. You'll be amazed what the results are. You don't even have to touch it. You can brush it if you want. You don't have to comes out perfect just like this that's it no buying the $50 rim cleaner off the shelf or whatever it is comes out perfect just like this it works on painted rims just like these there's an aluminum that's painted it works on raw aluminum that's clear coated or not clear coated doesn't matter um, on the raw aluminum rims you're going to want to put a little bit of polish over it when you're done and a little bit of wax to seal it in but clear coated rims, you don't have to worry about any sort of corrosion. Painted rims, there's no corrosion. Uh, if you leave it on for more than 15, 20 minutes or something like that, it might start separating the paint from the rim. But if you do it within five to 10 minutes, you're done, you're good. Rims look beautiful. You can do this as many times as you want. Just make sure you rinse it off really well. Your tires will come out perfectly clean, like they're brand new, and the rim will come out completely spotless bright shiny you can wax it when you're done if you want just to make it last a little bit longer until the next cleaning but that's all it is